The Anglo-Norman period in England refers to the time period from 1066 to the mid-15th century. It began with the Norman conquest of England in 1066 when William the Conqueror, Duke of Normandy, invaded England and defeated the Anglo-Saxon king, Harold Godwinson, in the Battle of Hastings. After the conquest, the Normans established themselves as the ruling class in England, and French became the language of the ruling elite, the court, and the administration. This period was marked by a significant cultural and linguistic transformation, as the Normans brought with them their own traditions, customs, and language. The Normans were originally Vikings who had settled in northern France in the 10th and 11th centuries. They adopted the French language and culture but retained some of their Norse heritage. As a result, Anglo-Norman literature and culture were a blend of French and Norse traditions. The Anglo-Norman period was also marked by political instability and conflict, including wars with France and Scotland, as well as internal struggles for power. Despite these challenges, the period saw the development of a vibrant literary culture that produced works in French, Latin, and eventually, Middle English. The Anglo-Norman period in England was marked by several distinctive features. Language, after the Norman conquest in 1066, French became the language of the ruling elite, the court, and the administration. This led to a blending of French and Old English, known as Anglo-Norman or Anglo-French, which was used by the aristocracy and the educated class. Courtly culture, the Normans brought with them a sophisticated courtly culture that emphasized chivalry, romance, and manners. The concept of courtly love, a tradition that originated in France, was prominent in Anglo-Norman literature. Feudalism. The Normans introduced the feudal system to England, which divided society into a hierarchy of lords, vassals, and serfs. The king was at the top of this hierarchy, followed by the nobility, who held vast estates and exercised considerable power. Religious life. The church played a dominant role in Anglo-Norman society, and religious life was an important feature of the period. The church was responsible for education, and many religious texts were produced during this period. Norman castles. The Normans built castles across England to establish their control over the territory. These castles were typically made of stone and featured fortifications such as towers, battlements, and moats. Wars and conquest. The Anglo-Norman period was marked by a series of wars and conquests. These include Norman conquest of England in 1066, the Norman invasion of Wales in the late 11th century, and the English invasion of Ireland in the late 12th century. Literature The Anglo-Norman period saw the emergence of a rich and diverse literary culture that produced works in French, Latin, and eventually, Middle English. The literature of this period reflected the cultural and linguistic influences of the time, and included chivalric romances, epic poetry, religious literature, historical narratives, and fabliaux. The major genres of literature during the Anglo-Norman period in England included Chivalric Romance, this was a popular genre of literature that depicted the adventures of knights and their quests. These works often included elements of courtly love, magic, and supernatural beings. Epic Poetry, epic poetry was another important genre during this period. These works often depicted heroic deeds and battles, and were written in verse. Examples of epic poetry from this period include the Song of Roland and Beowulf. Religious literature. Religious literature was also prevalent during the Anglo-Norman period, reflecting the influence of the Church. Many religious texts were written in Latin, but some were also written in Old French or Middle English. Examples include the Ancrene Visa, the hymns of S.D. Godric, and the Ormulum. Historical narratives, historical narratives, such as the chronicles of the Anglo-Saxon Chronicle, were also produced during this period. These works recorded the events of the past and served as important sources of historical information for later generations. Fabliaux Fabliaux was a genre of literature that originated in France and was popular during the Anglo-Norman period. 
these were humorous short stories that often depicted the lives of common people and their everyday experiences. Prose literature, prose literature, including prose romances and fables, also emerged during the Anglo-Norman period. These works were written in the vernacular and often included elements of romance, adventure, and fantasy. The Anglo-Norman period in England produced many important writers and works. Here are some of the major writers and their notable works. Wace. Wace was a Norman poet who wrote in French. His most famous work is the Roman de Brut, a history of the kings of Britain from Brutus to Cadwallader. Marie de France. Marie de France was a poet who wrote in French. She is best known for her collection of Twelve Lice, which are short narrative poems that often feature courtly love and supernatural elements. Geoffrey of Monmouth. Geoffrey of Monmouth was a Welsh cleric who wrote in Latin. His most famous work is the Historia Regum Britanniae, a history of Britain that includes the story of King Arthur. Lorman. Lorman was an English poet who wrote in Middle English. His most famous work is The Brute, a history of Britain based on the Roman de Brute by Wace. Anonymous. There were many anonymous writers during the Anglo-Norman period who produced important works. Chanson de Roland, an epic poem about the Battle of Roncavox Pass. The Ormulum, a religious text written in Middle English verse. The Ancrene Visa, a guide for female anchorites. Thomas of Britain, Thomas of Britain was a Welsh scholar who wrote in Latin. His most famous work is the Tristan, a romance about the knight Tristan and his love for the Queen of Cornwall, is it? Gerald of Wales, Gerald of Wales was a Welsh clergyman and chronicler who wrote in Latin. His most famous work is the Topographia Hibernica, a description of Ireland and its people. Overall, the Anglo-Norman period produced a rich and diverse body of literature that reflected the cultural and linguistic influences of the time. In addition to literature, the period saw significant developments in architecture, art, and religion. The Normans brought with them new styles and techniques that transformed the English landscape. Overall, the Anglo-Norman period had a significant impact on the development of the English language and literature, as it brought a new cultural and linguistic influence to the country. The mixing of Old English and Old French led to the creation of Middle English, which was the dominant language of literature in England until the Renaissance.